Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will show you how you will work with classes and objects, getter and setter methods, use of text file operations, and we will also design a main menu. Let's start the lecture. Write a Python program that will ask enter the record of a student in one subject that includes ID, name, and subject or module name using the object oriented programming. The program should display the main menu to add, search, and display all the students. I have written a simple program in which it will display a main menu and then it will display messages. Number one is add new record, two for search a student, three for display all students, and four is for exit. After this, user will enter the choice and that choice, that input will be stored into the variable choice. Now I'm running this program. They're asking me what I will do. Suppose I will enter one. After this, it will stop. It, in this way, I can get input two, three and four. Okay. But I want to get it continuously until it will move until you will not press exit means four or more than four number now i have written while true it will enter into the loop and it will display the value it will be continue while true means it will be continue this loop okay and when it will be break when i will apply the break when i will apply the break when you will enter more than three values three numbers if it if you will enter choice number one input is one then it will shows print add a new student if you will enter two it will show search a student in case of three it will display all students okay now you want to show you if you will enter one it shows me message add a new student and again they are displaying main menu if you will enter two it will shows me search a student okay and again shows me main menu okay in case of three it will display all students in case of four or more than four then it will stop the program i will create a class that will keep the record of a student and after this i will add a new student search a student and display all student i have created a class with the name of student class name is a student name and this is the constructor method special property of constructor method is that whenever you will create an object of that class this method will be executed automatically this is the constructor of the class and self is a default parameter the first parameter that is a self by default its name displays self and you are passing three variables id name module variables or parameters and when you will create an object you must pass these three variables three these three parameters what you will pass the value in these parameters that value will be stored into the self dot id self shows that the reference of this class it means this shows that this id this id is belong to this class that is id on right side this is belongs to a parameter this is the parameter value but this self dot id shows that these parameter these variables are belongs to the class variable in this way you you can write self dot name equal to name and self dot module equal to module now i have written a getter method and setter method the getter method is to get the value is to get the value from the variables from the data variables Okay, I want to access through the object. I don't want to access directly. Okay, by using this one, I can achieve the encapsulation. Okay, because these part I cannot access it directly. We, I want to access through object. Okay, to achieve this phenomena, we can say this is encapsulation. Getter method to get the value from class from class variables through object. This is my variable self dot id class variable. It will return. Okay. Then get name self dot name. It will return self dot name. And next one is get module. This is a member function of the class and it will return self dot module. Whenever you will call these methods, it will return the value value of the object that are keeping in the class variables set value. 
same way set value is used to set the value what value you will pass in the parameter that value will assign to the class variables okay class variables and class variables who can access only object can access it means this is the value of that object object dot id will get value from id and self dot name will get value from name this is the way to define a class here i have written a function there is a little bit difference between a function and method method is belongs to a class okay if that function is a member if that function is belongs to a class we can say that is a method if that function is not belongs to any class we can say this is a function okay that's why i have written this is a simple function used to add a record define add student this is a function that will take one object std and this purpose of this line is to open a file in append mode in append mode and student.txt is the file name and what you will write this object i want to access the values that i have written in the class how can i access i can access through the object now i am calling here std.getid i am calling this method okay i can that i can call direct id also std.id but that is not a good way good way is you can approach variables through the methods class methods okay this phenomena is called encapsulation plus std.get name and plus std.module i will get value of of these three variables and will store into the file because i am using file file is the pointer of this file that is text file student.txt and write write method is used to write the values into the text file number 1 add a new student i'm going to enter okay because it shows me only add a new student because i did not call this method now i want to call this method now in the main program what i will do i have written if choice equal equal to 1 in k choice equal equal to 1 means you want to add a new record for that purpose what i will do i will ask from user enter the id number that will stored in variable id same way name and module object here i am creating an object what is object name object name is std and student this is the class name if your class name is different you can write that class name okay and these values i am passing these are the parameter id name and module by using this line i can create an object okay and when i will create this object the constructor is automatically called okay and what is doing in constructor constructor will get the value these are the constructor this id name module this will get the value and will stored into the class variables okay and after this i am passing this object to the function name is add student when it will goes here when it will goes to that uh, function definition then it will what it will do it will get the value from the class variables and will stored into the text file i want to show you the working of this program number 1 enter the id number you are entering number 1 name is ahmed module name is c++ no record has been saved into the file i want to open a file i want to check whether record is saved or not yes one ahmed and c++ okay if i want to save another record i can save it number 1 to add a new record enter the id number now id number is 22 name is ali module name is java okay the record has been saved if you want to display the message you can display the message okay i want to display the message record has been saved where you will write after this you can sh share a message print record has been saved successfully when you will run it number 1 id number 3 name is salam module name is c++ and it shows record has been saved successfully okay then it will shows again main menu and these three records have been saved into the text file 
now i want to write a code that will search the record from the text file this is this is search function to search a particular record define search this will take one parameter that that want to search from the text file and this i have a declared in array get lines it will get all the lines okay so how many lines are in the text file it will get all the lines okay that's why i have given a name get lines and results this and this one also used to keep the results if data will found that that data will be stored into this list array okay into this result array this is my file i'm going to read file okay that's why i have given mode is r for line this is a variable variable that will move till in file okay what is a file file is a pointer that is pointing to the student dot text file it means how many lines are there in that that file that is student dot txt my line variable will move till those lines okay if there are five lines it will move five times if it is 10 line it will move 10 line okay what it will do it will fetch one line and will store into the get line list get lines dot append that is fetching one line at a time okay that will store one by one mean it get lines what get line will keep get line will keep all the lines one by one next this is another variable line that will move in get lines now get line this is the list that you have accessed now all the lines are available okay from line this is a variable that will pick one line and will bring and will search whether search module is in that line because this this module you want to search it this is my searching criteria searching variable searching module in line if you will find then what you will do you will store that lines into the result list there is another list or array that will keep the result which result that when search criteria will meet if that module is there then it will keep complete line okay and that will store into the result after this if not result okay this is the if loop will terminate when loop will be terminated then it will check if not results it means results is empty then it will shows record is not found and if result is not empty it means something is in the result it will shows that result print and it will shows that results print record found i will show you if you will display number 2 okay which record you want enter your choice it shows me such as student because i'm i did not call yet okay i want to call this function in this place i will write such module equal to input enter the module to search you will enter the searching module and that variable that value will be stored into variable search module and now you are passing search module as a parameter to function search function name is search okay i want to show you the result number 2 enter the module to search suppose you are going to search c++ it shows me number 1 ahmed c++ number 3 salam and c++ next one is print display all students i will call display function okay and what is in display function this is my display function this this is a function to display the all records existing the file def display this is the function name and same way i got it get lines and results here it will display id name and module this is just only for readability purpose and file equal to it will read this file and same way first it will fetch all the lines and will stored into the get lines after this it will again pick line by line 
and will store into the results okay and after this i will display the what is in the result print a strict pointer results and file flows i want to show you the result if you want if you will press number 3 id they are showing me id name module id is 1 ahmed c++ id is 22 ali java id is 3 name is salam and c++ okay this is all if you want to search a record you can search it if you will press 5 it will stop the program this is the complete program this is the complete code add function search module and display function that will use to display all the records and this is main menu and this is the choices until now it's break okay if you will enter any input that is not belongs to one two three it will break the program thanks students and if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you jazakallah khair